This animation begins with a spider named Inspector Sun who was a police detective in Shanghai. His mission was to go to a pier, and on his way there, he asked a cricket for directions to the location. Then, the cricket kindly helped Sun by giving him the right directions. Afterward, Sun rode on a seagull named Luo to get to the Shanghai Pier. When he arrived, he met with other police officers and a spider named Jenny. There, they wanted to catch a cockroach named Red who was a fugitive hiding in the dock factory. However, Sun had a different plan. He asked the police not to help him catch Red, and he entered the factory alone. Eventually, he found Red and asked him to surrender. At first, Red refused, but Sun scared him by lighting a match. Then, Red finally agreed to surrender, but the situation became complicated when Sun accidentally set the factory on fire because it was storing fireworks. Despite this, he managed to turn Red over to the police, and he was interviewed by journalists for his actions. The next day, Sun was summoned to the office room of his uncle, who was also a police leader named Sam. However, instead of praising Sun, Sam fired him for causing the fire at the factory. There, he was upset and tried to defend himself by showing Sam the newspaper article about his successful capture of Red. Unfortunately, Sam didn't care about Sun's skills, so Sun had no choice but to accept his dismissal. However, Sun didn't let this discourage him and decided to take a break by going on a vacation to New York in the United States of America. When Sun arrived at the airport, he unexpectedly ran into Jenny, who was a big fan of his. Not only that, but she offered to help him with crime cases as his assistant. However, he refused because he believed he could handle every case on his own. Despite his refusal, Sun ended up being late for his flight because he was waiting for Jenny for too long. He missed his flight and was left behind at the airport. Fortunately, his old friend, a horn beetle named Shrabat, was there to help him. At that time, he found out that Sun had missed his flight and, as luck would have it, Scrabat was a security officer on the next plane. So, Scrabat helped Sun get on the next plane to New York, and he finally arrived at his destination. As soon as Sun boarded the plane and entered his room, he was surprised to see Jenny suddenly appear. There, he felt uneasy about her presence and quickly called Scrabat to his room. However, Jenny disappeared by hiding somewhere. Sometime later, Sun went to the restaurant on the plane and noticed that the insect passengers were having their dinner. There he met a famous scientist named Dr. Bugsy who was dining with his new wife named Arabella. Previously, Dr. Bugsy had heard about Sun's dismissal and offered him a job to protect him and his wife because he believed someone was trying to harm him. Despite the offer, Sun declined the job from him. Shortly after Sun left, he witnessed Dr. Bugsy and Arabella having a fight, which resulted in Arabella leaving him. At the same time, Scrabat met Sun and asked him to go to a room where he revealed that they had caught the stowaway who was bothering him, and it turned out to be Jenny. As Scrabat was about to throw Jenny out of the plane, Sun couldn't stand it and pleaded with him to forgive her. Then, he eventually agreed but since there was no other place for stowaways, Jenny had to share a room with Sun. Later, Scrabat returned and asked for Sun's help with a murder case that had just occurred on the plane. Shortly after, Sun went to the location where the murder took place and was shocked to find out that the victim was Dr. Bugsy. Sun and Jenny then worked together to investigate the crime scene. After searching for clues for a while, they returned to their room. However, Sun told Jenny that he preferred to work alone and asked her not to assist him any further. He decided to rest, but was suddenly attacked by a wild termite. Fortunately, Jenny came to his rescue and saved him. Yep. As Sun continued to ponder over the mysterious death of Dr. Bugsy, he began to feel that something was amiss. He then went to see Arabella, who was being held in the airplane's detention cell. Without any delay, Sun confronted her, asking whether she was the one who killed Dr. Bugsy. However, Arabella denied any wrongdoing, and instead revealed that Dr. Bugsy was a former member of the insect gangsters, but had turned over a new leaf and was starting a new life with her. She also mentioned that Dr. Bugsy had given her a ball-like object to pass on to Sun, saying that if anything were to happen to him, Sun should be the one to receive it. Surprisingly, Sun then locked up Jenny in the detention cell too, not wanting her to meddle with his investigation. He returned to the crime scene, but then he saw ants carrying Dr. Bugsy's body away. There, he decided to follow them and eventually arrived at the gathering place of the ants. However, his presence was detected by the ants and he was brought before the ant queen, Shu Hua. To Sun's surprise, Shu Hua asked him to investigate the disappearance of one thousands of her worker ants. At first, he refused as he was already busy investigating Dr. Bugsy's death. But Shu Hua warned him that the plane was the ants' territory, and other insects were just passengers. The ants were in charge of collecting food for all the insects on board and monitoring everything that happened on the plane, which they reported to the captain, John. 
At last, Sun agreed to Xu Hua's plea to help her locate her lost worker ants. Nevertheless, he insisted on cracking the case of Dr. Bugsy's murder first. Upon hearing this, Xu Hua gave him instructions, revealing that Arabella was not the culprit of the crime. Upon receiving these instructions, Sun decided to search Dr. Bugsy's messy room for more evidence. However, Captain John suddenly appeared and reprimanded him for suspecting Dr. Bugsy's passengers. Captain John was so furious that he had the guards take him out of the room, ending his investigation. Meanwhile, Arabella hypnotized a prison guard to faint. This allowed Sun, who was brought by Captain John to the airplane restaurant, to meet Jenny. It turned out that she had been freed by Scrabat who wanted both Sun and Jenny to help solve Dr. Bugsy's case. When Captain John was distracted, Sun began questioning the other passengers, including a suspicious Mrs. Fatty. While Jenny was preoccupied with the babies Mrs. Fatty was carrying, whom she thought were a little fishy. But Captain John noticed Sun and Jenny's investigations and immediately stopped them, fearing that they would disturb the passengers on board. Suddenly, Arabella, who had escaped from prison, appeared before Sun and asked him to dance. However, their dancing was disrupted by the sudden appearance of a praying mantis who intended to kidnap Arabella. Despite the efforts of Scrabat and the aircraft security team to shoot the praying mantis, it managed to escape with Arabella. Fortunately, Jenny, who is capable of jumping high, came to his aid, and they chased the praying mantis. In the midst of their pursuit, Sun and Jenny found themselves in the plane where human passengers were seated. As they continued their chase, Scrabat arrived to help them capture the praying mantis. However, their efforts resulted in chaos as they ended up in the cups belonging to human passengers. The sight of insects on the plane frightened the passengers, causing pandemonium. Despite the confusion and chaos, they managed to capture the praying mantis. Without hesitation, Sun and Scrabat interrogated the praying mantis, but the language barrier proved to be a challenge as Sun did not understand its language. Fortunately, Arabella was able to communicate with the praying mantis and revealed that Dr. Bugsy had employed it to protect her from a monster. This information left them perplexed and they proceeded to ask about the identity of the monster. Soon after, an unidentified figure emerged and snatched the praying mantis from Sun's grasp. However, before he could react, the dead praying mantis was tossed back to them while they heard the monster's voice. After that, Sun and the others quickly headed towards the plane's door, only to be stunned when they realized that Scrabat intended to drop Jenny and Arabella from the plane. Then, Sun eventually discovered that Scrabat had been targeting Dr. Bugsy all along because he believed that the treasure was on the plane. Suddenly, Scrabat threatened Arabella and demanded information about the treasure, but she revealed that Dr. Bugsy's work was his only treasure. Sun was disappointed by his greed, and he then demanded that Sun hand over Dr. Bugsy's ball, which he believed was valuable. Shortly after, the plane was hit by turbulence, causing them to fall out of the plane. Luckily, Sun used his spider web to save them all. Despite being in a perilous situation, Scrabat attempted to take Dr. Bugsy's ball from Jenny, but Sun used his spider web to capture him. It's not a handcuff. <laughs> At first, they believed that Scrabat had obtained the real Dr. Bugsy's ball, but they later discovered that Jenny still had the real one, and Scrabat had stolen a fake one. As they tried to return to the plane, luckily, the ants came to their rescue and helped them get back onto the plane, thanks to Shu Hua who had instructed his ant worker to save them. In an unfortunate turn of events, Sun accidentally dropped Dr. Bugsy's ball, causing it to split into two. To their surprise, the ball was empty and this left them confused, as Arabella was certain that it contained the orb formula liquid, which could turn bugs into queen insects. With this new information in mind, Sun began to gather all the insects on the plane in an attempt to find the killer of Dr. Bugsy, who was among them. He interrogated each insect, with Jenny by his side to assist him. Eventually, Sun accused Mrs. Fatty of being the culprit. He revealed that at dinner, Dr. Bugsy had given the orb formula to Arabella, and Mrs. Fatty had seen this happen. She then replaced the ball containing the orb formula without Arabella noticing. Later, Mrs. Fatty had killed Dr. Bugsy because he had not created an antidote for the orb formula. She had consumed the formula herself, turning into the queen of insects. In the end, Mrs. Fatty confessed to being the culprit, but it turned out that the whole thing was a plan by Red. At that time, he knew that Dr. Bugsy was on the plane and set up the situation to catch him. Everyone, including Mrs. Fatty and the other insects, were surprised when he managed to escape from their trap. However, Sun caught Red again, and Mrs. Fatty was also arrested. After Red's arrest, he told Sun that he had solved the case with the help of Jenny. But Sun refused to acknowledge her help and claimed that he had solved the case on his own. Hearing that, she was disappointed and left him. Meanwhile, Mrs. Fatty started to transform into a cocoon, which eventually exploded. 
Fortunately, Sun survived the explosion and realized that Red and Mrs. Fatty had escaped. Red had also kidnapped Shu Hua's worker ants and transformed them into Mrs. Fatty. The next day, as the plane was landing in San Francisco, Sun saw that all the passengers had turned into cocoons after being attacked by Mrs. Fatty. There, Arabella tried to attack Red and Mrs. Fatty but was also turned into a cocoon. As Sun toured the plane, he finally met Jenny, who had managed to avoid being attacked by Mrs. Fatty. They both apologized to each other and Sun realized that he needed her help to solve the case. Then, they went to where Red and Mrs. Fatty were and saw that Arabella had also turned into a monster, along with other insects. Meanwhile, Red and Mrs. Fatty ordered their troops to fly out of the plane, and Sun asked Captain John, who had not turned into a cocoon, to follow them. Soon after, Captain John entered the cockpit and urged the pilot to chase the monsters. On the other hand, Red and Mrs. Fatty were freeing prisoners in Alcatraz prison. There, Sun and Jenny decided to leave the plane to catch Red. Fortunately, he managed to climb on top of Mrs. Fatty and asked Red why he did all of this. Red explained that he felt that the world was unfair to him because he was a cockroach and didn't fit in anywhere. Soon after, Red, wanting to avoid interference with his plans, dropped Sun and Jenny from above Mrs. Fatty, but Luo the seagull managed to save them. Sun then ordered Luo to fly towards Red and Mrs. Fatty, and he started attacking Red, which led to a violent fight between them. Long God. <laughs> As a result of the fight, Mrs. Fatty lost balance, and they both fell into the river where they were eaten by a fish. Fortunately, Jenny rode on Luo and saved Sun, and they flew to the mainland where the plane landed. They met Captain John, who thanked them for their success. During their fight, Sun managed to take Mrs. Fatty and use the antenna to call all the insect passengers who had been turned into her. Shortly after, Jenny broke the antenna, and all the insects changed back to their original form. Unexpectedly, Red managed to escape from the fish attack and swam to the mainland to attack Sun. However, he slipped on the floor and was eaten by fish. The animation ended with another insect approaching Sun for help in solving a mystery in Egypt but suddenly died. Then, he invited his new investigating team, Jenny, Arabella, and Shuhua, to go to Egypt to solve the mystery. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation teaches us about teamwork, perseverance, honesty, and respect for all living creatures, no matter how small or different they may seem.